Hey everybody, my name is Jameson Hapanenko and I'm with the InternetLifestyleClub.com. Now, I want to ask you a quick question. Have you ever had the desire to go maybe full-time RVing or maybe even just part-time on a more consistent basis? Well, if you have, I'd recommend watching the rest of this video because I'm going to share with you some really cool, awesome, money-saving tips that my wife, I, and my two kids learned along the way as we went full-time for a two-year time period. So I'd like to ask you, what's stopping you? You know, there was only maybe two or three excuses that most people gave why they couldn't get out there, even though they really wanted to. And the first one was, my spouse doesn't want to go. You know, I really want to go, but my wife says, no, I'm not going to do that. And so, you know, if, if your wife doesn't want to go, I really can't help you with that one. But then the second one, the second one was, well, I, I really want to get out there, but it's too expensive. You know, I, I just, I, I can't afford, you know, $1,000 a month to stay at a place. Uh, you know, to, to travel and go to different places. It's, it's just too expensive. And then the next one was, well, you know, my retirement, it's really not even, it's barely going to cover my expenses that I have now. You know, how can I, how can I afford to, to barely, to, to get out on the road and live a full-time lifestyle or maybe even go more part-time? So those were basically the three, three things that we came across. And, you know, I want to share with you, you know, two things that are really going to help you you know, be able to, to maybe make this reality if that's what you want to do. So let's talk about the first one. You know, um, you know, for in most cases, you know, I, I used to think, OK, well, I could get in a place for 25 to 50 bucks a night. So if he said, OK, low end, if it's going to cost me twenty five dollars a night um, at a really crappy place, probably, uh, you know, it, that's going to be seven hundred and fifty bucks a month. So if you spend 50 bucks a night. You're looking at you know fifteen hundred dollars a month, you know that's that's like that's a, that's quite a bit of income, guys. I mean, so you think about that fifty bucks a month or or uh, fifty dollars a month or twenty five dollars a month, you know that's what most people think it's going to cost. So here's what what we found, and we didn't know this until we actually got out there and we we started asking, talking to different people, exploring different things on the internet, and this is what we found. There's a company called. Uh, Thousand Trails RV Resorts, and I think they have a, a different name as well. Sometimes they go by a different name. I think uh, uh, Equity Lifestyle Equity Properties or something like that. But th for the most part, most people know them by Thousand Trails RV Resorts. And basically, what if you were to take a map of the United States, and this is a really bad map, but if you were to take a map of the United States, and you were to split it up into zones. And I think there's three zones. I might be mistaken on that, but I think there's three zones. And what they do is they say, okay, well, we'll sell you a zone pass to any one of these zones for 500 bucks for the year. 500 bucks a year. Now, that doesn't cover everything. Um, actually, it does in, unless you're going to get 50 amp service. If you're going to get 50 amp, they're going to actually charge you $3 a night for 50 amp service, which is nothing, guys. I mean, it literally, it's 900 bucks. It's uh, $80, $90 for the month for, you know, for $3 a night for the 50 amp service. So $3 a night, 50 amp service, that's per night. $3 a night, 50 amp service. Now, here's the deal, guys, is that they have RV... Uh, you know, resorts all the way in Florida, some up the coast here, some inland by in the Carolina areas. They have some up in, you know, Long Island area, in New York. There's all kinds of different RV resorts. Um, what I would do is I'm going to put a link below in the, in the description that's going to actually have a link to where you can just go down, click that link, and you can go check out their website for yourself. Um, but this is, what, this is what's really cool is it's 500 bucks a night. So you got $500 a night, right? or I mean $500 for the zone pass, that's for the year for the zone pass. And if they're still, they should still be doing zone passes, but the zone pass is really cool because you buy one of these zones, three bucks a night. So now that's kind of cool if you want to stay on the East Coast, but then we thought, okay, well maybe we're going to go stay on the West Coast as well, and maybe we'll go stay down in Texas. And so we went in, we talked to the salespeople there, and they actually said, okay, well you can actually buy a pass for the whole United States and it was like six or seven grand, but we said, okay, well, we don't have that much quite now to put down, or we didn't really want to put that much down at the time. So they said, okay, well, well, we'll actually do a finance thing, no credit checks or nothing. We'll do a finance for you to where it's going to cost you, it was like 189 so we'll just say $200 a month. They'll finance it for 200 bucks a month, and then it's the same thing. No money down, 200 bucks a month, and then you, you actually can do the same thing where you can stay at any of these parks, 
if you have 50 amp, it's three dollars a night. You know, it's three bucks a night for the 50 amp, and they call that a resort fee or whatever. And so you're you're basically, guys. I mean, for about 300 bucks, you get full hookups, 50 amp, and then also they even throw in, hey, we're going to give you discounts to like all these encore resorts and a bunch of other different resorts that they have connections with. So, you know, what's cool about that is that say you wanted to go down and stay in the Keys. You know, there's a, there's a key, I believe it's Marathon Key, if I'm not mistaken, it's right before Key West down here, right before Key West. But you could actually go down and stay on that key. They actually own that whole key there. You can go down and stay on that key for 25 bucks a night, guys. 25 bucks a night, it's crazy cheap. So anyhow, I thought that was really cool. I, and, and you know, I think that'll, that's gonna really help a lot of people that have wanted to do it because now all of a sudden your budget is way different. Now, here's the next thing guys is that, you know, a lot of people said, well, you know, my retirement is not gonna cover it or, you know, I don't even have enough money right now or, you know, I'm tied down to a job. Um, so here's the deal is that we were able to do that for a two year time period and we basically made all of our money off the internet. Every penny of our money came off the internet. So here's what I wanted to share with you guys is that if you go to my, to my, my landing page, it's called workwithjameson.com and it actually, if you put your name and email in there, it actually is gonna take you to a video where I actually go through and I show you actual nine different ways to make money on the internet. And then I ask you at the end, you know, if you want me to give you a free coaching session where I could sit down with you and show you exactly how you can earn an income and create an internet lifestyle. You know, not only an RV lifestyle, but you can create an internet lifestyle and you could actually, you know, bring in money off the internet. It's pretty cool. So what I would recommend you doing as well is if, if you say, if you're, if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I can't afford, you know, to go RVing full time or I'd really like to increase my income, then let me see if I can help you with that. Um, so go to, the, go to workwithjameson.com. I'll put the link in the description either below or it might be on the side here depending on what, where you're watching it at. But go ahead and click that link. Check out that video or, you know, tie into my newsletter. I'll send you out some more cool videos like this and I'm going to be sending out some, some cool stuff. So anyhow, click that link. Uh, go check out Thousand Trails, guys. It's really awesome. Um, one more tip I wanted to share with you as well before I go is there's, if you're looking for an RV and you don't, and, and let's say you want to get something that's pretty nice and, and you have a few hundred bucks a month you can put towards a payment, right? But you, but say you don't want to go in and get, you know, shafted by one of these, you know, RV places because they're just, they're going to try and upsell you on the nicest thing. There's actually a company called Dream Finders, and this is the company we used. I'll, I'll see if I can put the link in the description below for that one too, but there's a company called Dream Finders, and what they'll do is they go out and they connect buyers with sellers. So what you can do is you can actually go to them and look at their inventory of what they have, and you can say, okay, well, I like this one here, and you can work a deal with the actual seller to where you don't have to go through conventional financing. They'll actually finance it for you. They'll finance it for you, and, and a lot of times they'll, they'll give you a really killer interest rate, and they'll actually, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll do a, a, a credit check on you and stuff like that, but they're not really, what they're really after is, is to make sure that it's going to be a good deal. I think if your credit's kind of tanked, they might want a little more money up front, but the thing is, is that you don't have to go through conventional financing with this. You know, it's not going to go on your credit. You can, you can actually go and, you know, do a private, a private owner carry and do like a lease option private owner carry. So that's one of the things that we actually leveraged when we did it, guys. Really cool way to do it. Um, but anyhow, I, I wish you the best. I hope this was some, of some value to you. I hope you got some really good value out of this. And I hope that you're going to be able to experience that internet life, or the internet lifestyle too, but really the RV lifestyle because the RV lifestyle, I thought it was pretty awesome. And really the only reason why we stopped doing it is because my oldest daughter wanted to go to high school this year. But, you know, kids would be kids, you know. And, and the thing was is at least I got a couple years to, to actually spend with them exploring the country you know it was it was really an experience to give them so anyhow guys look for those links below this video and I hope I wish you the best in your travels and whatever you decide to do in the future and I'll see you on some next videos coming to you from the beach again <laughs>
Go for it. Bell Island. He's going co-hogging today. Island Beach. Coming to another beach today.